Ranching and the West go hand in hand. Here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City, you can see ranching's origins. From when the Spanish first brought cattle here in the early 1500s to today's modern day ranching operation. But what is ranch life really all about? Well, we visited a small ranch in New Mexico to find out. Ranching is, a, is an occupation and yet it's a love, it's a, it's a culture, it's a custom. It's how we look at things, how our whole life is looking at, at saving, preserving, conserving things. And so it's, it's something to be handed on as far as a custom and a culture uh, from generation to generation. My name is Richard Spencer. Uh, our ranch here is called the Spencer Land and Cattle Company. We're in New Mexico, Punta de Agua, New Mexico. Been ranching since I was a kid, started when I was in FFA and in high school, so probably when I was 16 years old, I owned my own cattle. My grandpa came to these mountains back behind us in about 1887. He was a rancher and a timber man and, and had some race horses and things like that, and it just kind of was a heritage with us. It seems like the modern world is all plastic and made up and and smoke and mirrors and this old ranching heritage and, and the custom and culture that goes along with it is real and it's down to the basics of life, of uh, animals and plants and the environment, rain and those kind of things that's all reality, God's creation. If you, if you look at it in terms of, of a modern production factory, uh, that's what we are in the ranching business, but we're with individual animals and plants and, and uh, environment, water, those kind of things. What we're doing is producing an animal, a calf, out of the mama cow. It grows up, we, we brand that calf, identify it, and save it up to a certain size and weight, and then we strip them off wean them and sell them to, the, to go into the market on to be raised to bigger animals as yearlings and then on into the feedlot and then eventually to someone's plate. We always feel like uh, our, our country is, is the most important country in the world. We should support it. We're patriotic people. We support America totally. We support them with food and our war efforts in the past have been based on a, a well-fed army. So we are a part of, of that whole process of feeding America and feeding the world. The land itself is, is the basic foundation of society. Uh, we all live off the land, whether we live in a city or whether we live here at the ranch, we live off the land. And the better we can make that land as far as a production uh, from an economic standpoint, production standpoint, or just a spiritual standpoint. If we can leave this land better today than when we were born or when we were given the land, when we bought the land, if we can make it better, that's the goal and objective of our life. And so we see it as, as a spiritual investment in the land, our time, our effort, our energy. And it's not necessarily based on just how many dollars I can make out of it but can I make it a better place to give to my sons, to my grandsons, that they might see part of the West the way it was from the land. Richard is just one of many great Western Americans who is continuing the ranching tradition and keeping it alive and well. We owe a lot to our ranchers and are proud to represent them here in the museum. Check out the next video as we see some of the tools of the rancher in action. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, you can follow us online for much more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.